five male fertility hormones. Yes, a male needs five hormones to be fertile. What do we mean by a fertile male? A fertile male is someone who can be able to produce viable sperms that can be able to fertilize an ovum to make a woman pregnant so that a woman can give birth to a healthier baby. For you to be fertile, you need five hormones. Yes, I know you just, you have heard only in the emphasis of one, but without the five, you cannot be fertile because all of these hormones depend on each other for the entire goal. Remember the goal for you to be fertile, we need one goal for you to produce viable sperms. But one hormone is not enough for you to have viable sperms. So these hormones, we start with gonadotrophin releasing hormone, GNRH, gonadotrophin releasing hormone produced in the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is found in your brain. So gonadotrophin releasing hormone is where the cycle starts. Let's, this cycle will start here. We start here, gonadotrophin releasing hormone. Remember we want a cycle because we have to come back here. And I, I will explain how. So gonadotrophin releasing hormone produced in the hypothalamus. What is its function? To stimulate the pituitary gland in the brain as well to produce two important hormones. Okay, number one is luteinizing hormone. I know you only know luteinizing hormone in the female cycle. We'll talk about it in our next video. But male produce luteinizing hormone. So number one is what? Gonadotrophin. Number two is luteinizing hormone. And number three is follicostimulating hormone. These two hormones are produced where? In the pituitary gland. I'm going to explain their function so shortly. So, luteinizing hormone, let's say, is, the, is a messenger, okay? It is sent directly to the testes, okay? Remember, testes is the hub of sperm production, right? So, luteinizing hormone is sent directly to the testes. In the testes, there's, there's cells called the legid cells. So, legid cells are responsible for producing testosterone. And it is the pituitary gland, it is the pituitary, uh, no, it is the luteinizing hormone produced in the pituitary gland that stimulates the lay cells to produce testosterone. Okay? So testosterone is the main, is the main hormone here. All right? So what is the function of the follicle stimulating hormone that was produced in the pituitary gland? Right? So we said gonadotrophin. Luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone. So follicle stimulating hormone combines, they, they, they form a team with testosterone, okay? Testosterone cannot function on its own. It needs a team, a member. So testosterone and follicle stimulating hormone now stimulate the Sertoli cells. Sertoli cells are found in the testes, okay? Sertoli cells are responsible for spermatogenesis, right? Spermatogenesis is the production of sperms excuse me okay sertoli cells are responsible for producing what them the sperms sertoli cells are responsible for production of sperms but they have to be stimulated so without the fsh testosterone cannot make an impact on sertoli cells on its own so so fsh testosterone they stimulate the sertoli cells to produce what sperms so, you have said there is gonadotrophin. Gonadotrophin is here, gonadotrophin, luteinizing hormone, and follicle stimulating hormone. And uh, follicle stimulating hormone and testosterone, they cause the production of, of viable, viable sperms. So, there's also another hormone called here called inhibin B. From the word inhibiting. Inhibiting is like to stop. Let us say we have produced enough sperms, right? We have produced in enough sperms. So we need to stop this production of, 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 uh, of, uh, of, of sperms. So what happens? The, the Sertoli cells as well produce inhibin B. 
inhibin B now causes a negative impact such that the pituitary gland cannot produce more FSH. Right? So if, F, if FSH is not produced, sperms are not produced as well. Because you said what? Testosterone is responsible combining team to produce sperms. So if, if FSH is low, there will be no, there will be no sperm production because FSH is needed together with testosterone to produce what? Produce the sperms. So you see that cycle? We start with gonadotrophin, LH, FSH, testosterone, inhibiting. It is inhibiting. Okay? That's the cycle. Without those five hormones, you cannot produce sperm. So let's say you have a problem with the with the with the with the hypothalamus. You are not going to produce what? Gonadotrophin. Right? Let's say you have a problem with the pituitary grad. If you have a problem with the pituitary grad, you cannot produce LH and FSH. FSH is needed for the production of uh, for the combination of and the production of sperms. Okay? Inhibiting is produced by testes maintains hormonal balance. So let's say you do so let's say your testes does not produce the inhibin. You see, there's, there's going to be imbalance in hormones. Remember, these hormones have to balance. They have to balance very well. So if you lack these hormones, you're going, you are technically going to have infertility problems. Let's say, for example, you lack, F, you lack, uh, you lack LH. LH, we said what? LH is responsible for, for stimulating the Lagy cells to produce testosterone. So if you lack LH, you're not going to produce testosterone. So, now, so basically, you're going to be in fat there. Because without the testosterone, you cannot produce pumps. So without the LH, you cannot produce pumps. If your LH levels are low, you can, they cannot stimulate the alleged cells to produce testosterone. So when you come to the lab and we, we determine, actually, this person doesn't have sperms. You, are, you have a condition we call azospam, your complete absence of sperms. Okay? Azospamia. So we, we, we're going to, what is causing this azospamia? We take your hormones. We start with what? LH, FSH, testosterone. Those. We add inhibit gonadotrophin releasing hormone. We take the five hormones. These hormones are responsible for spermatogenesis. Without these hormones, you are infertile. You have you are suffering from a condition we call azospermia, complete absence of sperms. This is Health Matters Plus. If you are having a problem with azospermia, contact me. The number is on the description. Don't forget to like. Share with your friends. Don't let them be infertile. Give them this information so that we know where do we start with your infertility journey. Is it, is it a problem of genetics? Is it a problem of hormone? Is it a problem of, of blockage? What is, the infertility? what is the cause of your infertility? So, like, comment, share with your friend. See you on the next one.